my god! <laughs> I can't find you in the back window. All right, my first reaction video. I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest with you. Am I too big on the screen? Am I too small on the screen? Peep merch, not available anytime soon. Just had it made, someone had it made for me and I'm very thankful for it. Why am I so nervous? Anyways, so let me click off this. Whistling Diesel, very famous YouTuber. I watch his stuff all the time, love it. He's absolutely, he's mad, absolutely mad. He did a Hilux video, as you can see, it's not watched. I watched his tank one. I watch all his videos, love him. He did old Hilux destruction videos, as you see here, where he's an absolute mad lad. He wrecked a G-Wagon. But he wrecked a Toyota Hilux. Same color, two years newer, but the exact same model as my Hilux. Now, I did clickbait you a little bit. I don't regret one thing. Uh, but, <clears throat> if you're new to the channel, I owned a Hilux the exact same as this. I haven't watched this video yet on purpose because I literally want a genuine reaction to I owned this vehicle I wasn't rich enough to wreck it yes I off-roaded it gave it a few bangs <laughs> stretch the suspension out and everything but nothing Look at the bend in that suspension. But nothing Camera too don't... insane. I the second I seen modern Toyota Hilux durability test, I said I need to do something about this because not only is it Hilux the same, pretty much the same as mine, same color, same everything. Mine was nicer. Mine was the um, mine was the Invincible, so it had the f fancy lights and apparently the engine is tuned a little higher. Um, apparently, who knows? Uh, but anyway, we're basically going to watch this video, and I am going to see what he does and capitalize on the absolute size of his channel and the size of mine. Mm. Anyway, let us begin the video and see what he does. What? <laughs> right. Hold on. Stop it there. Back a couple of slides. Wait. Damn it. Oh my god. I'm not good at this at all. Hold on, right, here we go. So, Hilux, this is an SR5, this model is called. It doesn't have the radar built into the badge. As you can see, we tried to kill a cardboard box here, it didn't work. And I had the cool slitty lights. So, same tires, I had a different side rail. Um, my Jeep was nicer. Let's see what they do. These things, you can rally these things, by the way. And they will just take the abuse all day. Now I don't own one of them, nor will I ever, I presume. But a Hilux, man. Oh. Oh no, what am I watching right now? So, this is what I've wanted to do. Welcome back. Are new Toyota Hiluxes just as durable as old Toyota Hiluxes? Maybe not. We're gonna find out. They still make them. It's right in front of us. That's a Toyota Hilux. We're not in America. We're in the United Kingdom. So this is a 2018 Toyota Hilux. Four-wheel drive. It's the same as the old ones. It sounds similar. It's diesel. It's a manual. It's literally the old Hiluxes with the lines on it, the classic Toyota. Wait a minute. Does anyone know why the mirrors are silver? Because I thought the only ones that were silver were the invincible ones, but this doesn't have the lights or the radar thing on the front. It's unusual that the mirrors are silver. In this new really ugly curvy bulky looking body that huh. doesn't have any classic appeal whatsoever huh. now, the one advantage with this one is there anything this one has that the 30 year old hilux didn't have camper shell yeah, we could put that on the others oh that's true so far it's a very similar truck now that's not a bad thing hilux. because the truck was bulletproof to begin with so i don't know if you can improve that so basically we came to united kingdom to do this because you can't get them in america and they won't let you import vehicles until they're 30 years old so a 2018 vehicle, what is that a thing uh, 28 years 20 no 24 is that years, actually a thing six before this can come to america legally the beautiful thing That's about insane. doing things here is that we can break any law that we want and they can't do anything about it they will find you yeah. We had problems well, in America. Just drive every day. You know, <clears throat> average things. So that's where we start. To drive with. every day, by the, the way. The average family, right? They got a kid oh, back I miss here. It so much. 
but he's rabid. He's psychotic. Off his meds, okay? <laughs> you want to make sure that the interior is not going to fall apart. We did an interior okay, test hold on. old Hilux. And it Everyone, with everybody stop. This is exactly what I wanted to do to mine, but I did not have the funds to do it. I wanted to rally this thing into the ground and see what it's made of. I did a bit of it, and I didn't damage one thing. I hit a bump at one stage that sent the Jeep completely down and whipped the front back up. The front got air, the back wheel stayed in the ground, and the suspension smashed back down. The biggest bang I've ever heard in my life out of a vehicle. And it just kept driving. Absolutely no damage whatsoever. I got it assessed afterwards to see if I'd bent anything. Flying colors. Literally nothing happened. I could not break it. The only thing we're not going to abuse yet is this, because obviously that's glass and it's going to immediately break. Oh, it's not even glass, it's plastic. Okay. Okay, you ground your kid from their phone. They reach up here and they're... The old one didn't do that. Yeah. Minus one point. So far this vehicle cannot be better than the old Hilux. I don't know what you're gonna you're... That's not gonna come off. Nah, that's tense of transmission. They go on a Dad's trip. Mad. He's like, all right, kids. Oh no! I highly recommend going watching his videos, especially the Hilux no. durability test ones. Old one never did that. Turn left, left turn, right turn. Someone just cut in front of you. Flash your brights at him. <laughs> left turn. You're trying to steer with your these knobs. That's impressive, actually. You're turning like a skid steer. You forget what vehicle in you. <laughs> left, right. Is it a plane? Pull up. The brights are on, the brights are off, left oh turn, right turn. Oh my god, right I was turn. so gentle with my interventions. Mm, mm, you miss. Ah, turn mine was automatic on. push button start. Don't know, that's what my Jeep turn sounds that like. Way. Okay, I don't, I don't want AC. Mom, I want AC. No, you don't. Okay, we're gonna make it a little hotter in here. Colder. Oh, high four, low four. How about reverse? Pull the e-brake. <laughs> oh no! Oh man, this is... <laughs> when would this happen in real life? Unruly children! Yeah. You wanna discipline them, but you're driving 80 mile an hour and you don't know what to do. You don't wanna spank him because other people would see that, right? right? So you need something under the table. Something that's just gonna... Oh, snap their legs! <laughs> really bumpy road. The steering wheel latch doesn't work. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I think Tyler sent Oh, that's gonna break, man. I know that's gonna break. Yeah. Oh my god! That was uncalled for. What the hell? <laughs> I knew it would break. Okay. Can you tell that that just happened? We have a light right here. You have a very tall person in the middle. I know the seat seats have been really well. To read a book. They want to read, and they just can't quite turn the light on. They try to turn the light. On. They're like, Mom, the light won't turn on. It's not bad. I Okay. Can you imagine That's what the guys outside the vehicle right. are thinking right now? Why looking at this lunatic just one? going ham. Ah, there. Was Paul. Just. Uh, that wasn't bad. Really rough road, road, right? You jump out of the vehicle oh, while no. it's moving 100 go. miles an hour. You grab onto this handle to save yourself. That so Jesus that handle's gonna work. Out. But you just jump. are called, by the way. You so. grab onto the handle to make sure that you're not gonna get hurt on the Jesus road handles. when you're facing oh, the pavement. Okay. No, it's gonna work because I held on to mine a lot of times. Yes. Like, your man is just standing there going, what is he doing? I, I think that was like 100 mile an hour. That was pretty good. Yeah. You know something an old Toyota Hilux doesn't have? Whatever this is. Cup holder. Let's go! Riddle me this, through this situation. This happens all the time. You just bought an ASDA approved strawberry banana fruit smoothie. That's but you're nice. an extremely <laughs> violent person with anger management issues. You are enraged because you thought that you bought a lime flavored smoothie. You slam it into your cup holder. It goes right in. No, is that a speaker? The interior is not really well. I feel like that was a good test. I mean, a you typical. Had very violent children. Yep. My car would back. still be intact at the end of the day. Yep, you're on a road trip. I know a lot trip. of other trucks that would not pass that. We have not looked at this. It's a three cylinder. Pushes just over 150 horsepower, I believe. You're driving down the interway. You hit a deer. The most feared 
animal on a family vacation. You got the brights on, you're focused, attentive, but wait, a small innocent deer jumps yeah, out. <laughs> he kicks the front of your no. car 55 times. Good. Part of the Not grill. Gonna lie, man. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no, dude. Yeah, that's a weak point. So that was, I was simulating if you hit it like a possum. Whoever put the bull bear on mine just drove. That. Let's go around the back. Through. Very large handle. Very. Maybe susceptible to breakage. You're like. <sighs> no. <clears throat> I don't think that's going to break. So you. Too solid, man. Could be in a huge hurry. You're at the hardware store. Pick up some anvils. Oh my god. Ooh, goodness. they broke it. Broke. We could not do that with the old one. Yeah, the old one was like strong as hell. These are their fuel pumps over here. Looks nice and quality actually. Every station has diesel because that's like all they use here. The oh. hose is concealed. Dude, why do they think of everything better over here, right? No against the fastest vehicle on planet Earth. This has a 900 horsepower V12 engine, and this has a three-cylinder diesel engine. I've warned Mark of the implications of this. If it comes down to it and he's still winning, I'm immediately going to turn right rapidly and pit. So you're well aware of this. I'm absolutely fine with it. Okay. You want to <laughs> just run everyone down on this, what this is real quick? So this is my Lamborghini SVJ. I bought it just for a field car, really. I was struggling for something to race around the farm, and I thought this was ideal because of the four-wheel drive, low uh, resistance, probably get a tow bar fitted. <laughs> <laughs> it's just perfection for the field. Okay, good luck. <laughs> You'll need it. I'm gonna dump the clutch in first, full speed. I'm in four wheel drive. He's also in four wheel oh, drive. Oh, that thing is gonna launch, man. Put it in sport mode. Yeah, the Hilux is gone. <laughs> Got the weird. Wow. What? That race we were both trying to win. That was close. You're okay. gonna need it. Good luck. Oh man, I missed my end going across fields! You're not taking it easy, are you? <laughs> One more. He can't win, so I told him I'd give him a little advantage. Yeah! <laughs> oh man. I oh, looks better than Lamborghini. <laughs> Let's go! What? Oh, no. Damn it! Now he, now he won. This is what I, I did. I've got this. You keep coming. Oh, it's not even like. It doesn't. I'll stretch the suspension. Yeah. You know what? When you're in a Jeep and it's that tilted, it's, it's very scary. But it's funny, all four wheels are touching. It's like a 30,000 euro Jeep and you're just so rallying it up the woods. Ramp here he uses for side by side. Two wheel drive, track. then you shift it to four wheel drive. Now the old ones, there's another shifter down here. You just push it and it would go right in just fine. Now they have this. So it says push to L4. So I don't know if that means push it in. So push it in and we turned it, right? Okay. It's so, so hard to get flashing. it into four wheel drive. Okay, so I'll put it in neutral, let off the clutch, turn my wheel, reverse. It's not going in. I actually forget how to get it into gear. Toyota Hilux not going into four low. Into four low. All right, we're just gonna do it in four high then. Smell the clutch, people. Can do it. Oh, what was our bottom hit? Oh, <laughs> our hitch caught. No. I bet that. I think you're off. Oh, he's actually catching the crash thing itself. <laughs> he's got a rampus, man. He's got to just go for it. Take it at an angle, man. Take it at an angle. Whistle and Diesel, if you ever watch this video for some reason, bring me off roading and I will show you the way. I do pretty good. Oh, he kicked off. Oh, man, On the first scared. Hilux testing, we did a thousand door slams to find out how durable the door was. I think we're going to be disappointed with the results seeing I how the tailgate so performed. Too. The only thing that happened with our old Hilux, very little damage on the door jam where it was hitting. All the damage was, well, there was no damage. 
Oh, the trim piece kind of just bounced out. But yeah, I don't think these doors slam. are going to hold up. Extremely as violent as individual. Stage. There's a lot more electronics and stuff car. in there. This is how they would shut your door. I knew that was going to happen. Every time we yeah. slam it, it doesn't latch because the latch springs are so weak that the door doesn't have time to latch while it's shut. Watch this. The doors don't latch. <laughs> oh my god. Now we've resorted to kicking. He's doing his too. Oh, we're, we're persuading him. The harder I slam mine, the harder he'll slam his. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was a thousand door <laughs> slam on the one. Hilux. What is rattling in there now? It literally broke in the last two. What was that? Out of mirror. Oh. Something is very loose in there. Something. Oh well, the truck works fine. We're good. We All right, we got a dirt track here with some jumps. Unfortunately, we also have some medical grade Hi oxygen in the bed. Flip. What are those for? Oh my god, I can't wait for the ditch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Do you trust his driving much? Alright, you gotta give it a shot now. That was absolutely perfect. Yeah, let me drive your cars. Your turn. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I can't find trying to make window. Yeah, the backlash is blue out there. Really? Yeah. Cool. Anyways, there's the 2018 Toyota Hilux test number one. We could do more, but we have to kind of get back to the airport tomorrow. So next time we come, we're going to do test two and we'll amp it up a little bit. After everything we did, there's not that many differences. Test two? These. Part two so reaction far, video? This truck is just about even with the old Toyota Hilux. Other than the tailgate, the interior pieces, four-wheel drive not quite working properly, parts coming off inside of the... Yeah, I don't know. It's a couple points behind so far. It could regain points and come in the lead again if it could do something insane to be determined. Look like our, looks like our front... Oh. Oh. Oh, no. We did not have that problem with the old ones. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm I'm really not feeling the new plastic truck that looks like a tampon. A new Hilux sounded no. good in theory, but then when you, you actually like experience it, you're like, it's fun. It's like cool because it's a Hilux, but they kind of neutered it. The one thing that I noticed over here, they have a ton of other car brands that I've never heard of in my life. Okay. Anyway, that has been my first and probably only for the time being reaction video until he does a part two on this Hilux which is the exact same as mine. Hold on, I can show you how the same. This is a picture of my Hilux at nighttime. We were out doing goon shit. Mine is actually way nicer with the lights going up and the big bull bar on the front. Oh, she was a beauty. I absolutely loved it. But yeah, that's stock Hilux SR5. Um, beautiful machine. I completely, completely miss my Hilux. Now that I'm watching this, I am like, what if I just, what if I just bought it back? So I sold it because the running cost was just insane on it. Making the repayments on it, and I was, I'm working in the same town I live, so I drive just across the town. I could cycle, but I have a Hilux, why would I cycle? 120 euros a week on diesel, just going over from one side of town to the other, and it's a small town. Running cost is insane in them, so I'll come back, I'll have another Hilux, if I ever get rich somehow, or have money to spare, I will be buying my exact Hilux back, the one that I had, and I will be bringing it up the mountain, and we will just wreck it. That's the plan. Thank you for watching the video. I have been Steve's Lodge. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Uh, I do off-roading videos in a smaller Jeep, a little tiny one, a Progero Junior. Go and check them out if you want. Uh, I rally that a lot, a lot more because it's worth 10% price of the Hilux that I owned. 30 grand Jeep rallying it off-road is kind of insane. Especially when you don't have the money to back it up. Okay, not rich by any means, necessary. Um, anyway, thank you for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know in the comments if you did enjoy it or not. Peep merch. My partner had this made for me and it was really sweet and I really, really love it. I really, really love this. It's very nice. But this is Peep merch. Merch will be in the future. Anyways, goodbye. <laughs>